going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, April 8th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. You know the old expression, what a difference a year makes? Because when I first saw these side-by-sides of Ian Valliere, that was the first thing that came to mind. According to Ian right now, he's 303 which is almost 15 pounds heavier than he was at the same point in his offseason last year. He believes that the work he's put in with his team has turned some of the things that used to be weaknesses into strengths, which is interesting considering the fact that we're talking about someone who placed seventh in the Olympia this year. So if what we're seeing in the gym translates over to the stage, there's a real possibility that he ends up pushing his way up into the top five before this year is all said and done. Now, if you thought that one year transformation from Ian was impressive, check out this five year progression from Jonathan Hambrick. We haven't talked much about him recently because he took all the year off last year so we could put on enough muscle to make a move up into the open class. And based on some of these photos he's been posting recently, it looks like he's made pretty good use of his time. Even though he's been around for a few years, people forget that Jonathan's only 24 years old, which means that he really hasn't even begun to hit his physical peak yet as far as bodybuilding is concerned. So if he comes out and makes a dent in the open class this year, watch out because his stock will only be going up from this point forth. Once you own a business, you realize how true the saying Nothing's ever official until it's official, really is. But with that being said, even though Jeremy Buendia hasn't officially said he's going to be competing at the Olympia this year, if you read the tea leaves, this is probably about as close as official as it gets. In case you missed it last week, Jeremy told his fans on Instagram that he would make a comeback if he got over 25,000 comments underneath his post. Then, lo and behold, not even two days later, he ended up blowing way past the number which sparked all sorts of conversations from guys in the division about whether or not he's ready to make a serious title push this year. Because if he does, and this year's version is better than what we saw last time he was on stage, Brandon Hendrickson might want to start looking over his shoulder because this race is about to heat up. Now, I want you to take everything I just said about Jeremy Buendia and put a pin in it for a second, because even if he doesn't end up competing this year, the race for the title in this division is going to be tight because there's no way that Aaron Banks doesn't insert himself into the conversation again. Aside from the fact that he was the runner-up last year, he was absolutely dominant in both his wins at the Arnold and Boston Pro already this season, which is crazy considering how short the turnaround time on that contest prep must have been. Last season, he essentially came out of nowhere to become one of the best men's physique athletes in the world. And the fact that he's getting better every time we see him should make everyone else in this division want to raise their game because he's not showing any signs of slowing down. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.